Hamilton and welcome to Insiders Health TV, where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without that quack propaganda. Today we'll be talking about athletes that are putting themselves in harm's way with energy drinks, as well as the proposed new warning labels on cigarette packs. Every now and then you just need a little pick-me-up. That extra cup of coffee, that Red Bull you keep in your desk, even caffeine pills in some extreme cases. And while for the most part it looks harmless, it turns out that athletes can do major damage to their bodies by turning to energy drinks. This study reported in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings adds weight to previous research that found such drinks can cause heart attacks, seizures, and in some extreme circumstances lead to death. The biggest problem is that runners will use it as hydration, as well as an upper, but energy drinks actually dehydrate you as much as some alcohols. Weekend warriors are depending on the pep to get them through, but water or sports drinks would actually be far healthier. As far as researchers are concerned, you should never have more than one energy drink a day, never mix them with alcohol, and drink plenty of water after exercising. So put down the Red Bull if you want to be truly healthy, because all that running isn't going to help you much if you have a seizure. In other health news, the federal government unveiled new proposed regulations mandating bolder health warnings on cigarette advertisements and packages. The proposed requirements are the biggest change in tobacco health warnings in 25 years, including nine new larger and more noticeable warning statements, as well as color graphic images depicting the negative health consequences of smoking. One of these images is even a person in a coffin with the text, smoking can kill you. The idea is to make it obvious to everyone who picks up a pack of cigarettes that what you're about to do is extremely dangerous. While big tobacco is fighting tooth and nail, we couldn't be happier to see any steps in making this habit less prevalent in our society. Here's hoping that they've finally found something that works. That's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walson, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the pack.